as I talk to uh, individuals who, regardless of the parts of government, uh, government agencies or uh, the private sector, there is a uh, growing feeling that, um, that, that change is coming. There's, there's tremendous pressure uh, to regionalize certain, at least certain priorities. And each region is different. In certain <coughs> regions, uh, security is paramount. In other regions, uh, content, political control is paramount. So it really depends on, on where you are and uh, who are you are talking to and who's really controlling the levers of power, I think that, that's critical. But I think overall, it, you did a good job in pulling together what I think is a, a set of very, very plausible developments. Is it, a, is it a good future for us? Is it a bad future for us? I think it's a challenging future for us. I think that um, uh, the challenges are going to grow. I, I don't think there is a um, silver bullet to globally to solve these challenges. I think it's going to be an incremental fight uh, in the trenches uh, to preserve the multi-stakeholder model. I think that uh, as pressures grow from key state actors in certain regions, others will be looking to emulate them, which is not necessarily a good thing for us. So I think that uh, unless we can show uh, how individuals benefit from keeping the system, the network, as free and open as possible, and how it benefits their own bottom line, uh, and their own, their own economic well-being, because human beings are motivated to larger extent by economic well-being, uh, will have some very, very serious challenges. 